Tayo po ay yumuko para po sa ating panalangin. Panginoon, pinupuri namin kayo at pinasasalamatan sa inyong kadakilaan. Pinupuri namin kayo sa inyong patuloy na paggagabay namin sa kalimungan. Wisdom, Panginoon, dalangin po namin na ang kalimungan ang nagpapasipunawa ang aming maranasan at nawa ang lahat ng aming maririnig na matutupunan ay magamit po namin sa pagbibigod sa inyo. Pagharihan niyo po bawat isa sa amin, mga participants, ang lahat ng dumalo sa daming ito. Tumatamis na pangalan ng inyong anak sa Yesus. Amen. Please raise your right hand and we will recite the Pathfinder Pledge. Pathfinder Pledge, by the grace of God, I will be pure and kind and true. I will keep the Pathfinder law. I will be a servant of God and a friend to man. Ready, front. Hello. I'm Masa God from Yulipi Marasigan from Central Luzon Province. Please put your right hand on your left chest and recite our Pathfinder law together with me. The Pathfinder law. The law is for me to keep the morning watch, do my honest part, care for my body, keep a level eye, be courteous and obedient, walk softly in the sanctuary, keep a song in my heart, go on God's errands. Ready? Front.
evening, Sister Melly. Uh, Master Guy Gmail is not yet on the Zoom. Can you welcome our participants? Okay, good evening to everyone. Welcome for first and PUC wide club ministry training orientation and lahat po ng aming mga visitors for different uh, missions and conferences. It's a privilege po na magkakaroon tayo ng ganito na tayo mga leader ay lalo magtitrain para sa ganun ay lalo po natin matrain ang ating mga kabataan. So I would like to welcome lahat po ng mga directors, mga pastors, mga leaders ng churches, and of course, our uh, SSD director and servant, Pastor Ron, and of course, our NPUC YD, Pastor David Morado. Uh, thank you for coming, and sana po ay mabless at matuto tayo sa gabi nito. Muli po, magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Good evening to everyone. Magandang gabi po sa ating lahat. Pero master guide, leaders, youth directors, and our uh, youth servant from SSD, Pastor Ronnie Nebago. And also our uh, delegates from different missions and conferences. This evening, ay natutuwa po tayo na i-launch natin at magkaroon tayo ng first orientation ng club ministries training. Ito po ang bagong release na inadapt ng ating division at ng union na program para sa ating mga master guide, leaders, club directors upang tayo po ay ma-equip at sa bagong curriculum na to tayo po ay ma-orient. This is the first uh, orientation at meron po itong second batch at meron po tayong uh, last training bago po tayong tuluyang i-launch itong ating programa ng CMT. But before we proceed that, we I would like to share to you a short devotional. Uh, gusto ko pong i-share ang aking uh, presentation, PowerPoint. Okay, this is our first NPUC-wide club ministry training orientation. And we are privileged to have our SSD director and also our one of our uh, Advisor sa NPUC Council, si Master Guide Abgel Tismo. So before we give them the time, I would like to share to you a short devotional about leadership and our responsibility as a leader. The title of my devotional is Called Up to Train. Lahat tayo mga kapatid ay tinawagan para pagkatapos tayong makareceive ng training, tayo ngayon ay tinatawagan para mag-train ang ating mga kabataan na susunod na mga leader sa ating teritoryo dito sa NPUC at sa different conferences and mission. Gusto kong i-share sa iyo ang isang uh, simple uh, uh, um, word na ito ay kinuha ko doon sa ating uh, youth directors or master guide at sa ating mga church leaders. Alam ninyo, ang youth ministry, ang sabi rito sa atin ay is one of the mediums through which our church is preparing for today's and tomorrow's challenges. Alam natin, laging may changes. Ano? At ang sabi nga, uh, changes is always changing. Ano? Yung mga pagbabago, laging may pagbabago. Now, we are on the uh, changing uh, season, generation. At uh, ang mission ay nananatiri, subalit ang mga program natin may mga pagbabago. Gaya nitong ini-introduce sa atin ngayon ang CMT. At uh, under the youth ministry, ito ang medium na ang iglesia inahanda natin na uh, ngayon at sa mga darating ang mga para sa hamon na hinaharap natin. Ang sabi sa atin, it is designed to support the local church and is dedicated to help it, helping Adventists should develop to their fullest potential and to use that potential for the fulfillment of the gospel commission. Yun po ang dahilan kung bakit tayo may mga ganitong orientation seminar para makapag-develop tayo ng mga kabataan at sa kanilang mga potential, madiscover natin sila 
at mapulpil nila ang Great Commission na walang iba kundi ang ibahagi ang ibang nyanyo. At alam natin ang pathfindering ay isang ministry at kailangan natin magsanay ng mga leader. All those called to participate in this ministry must be aware of their high calling and the noble work in which they are engaged. Every one of us, we are called. At ito ay isang noble work na binigay sa atin. At kailangan natin talagang mag-engage mag tayo ng mga leader. Number one, tayo ng mga leader. Para makita through our leadership ang ating mga kabataan kung saan natin sila nais dalhin at i-guide. Lahat tayo ng mga leader ay member tayo ng local church. Kung ang isang master guide ay hindi tayo member ng local church, there is something wrong in our leadership. Ako po miyembro ng iglesia ng San Rafael until now. Kahit na po ako yung union director, member pa rin ako ng isang local church. I'm still a member of one local church. Kahit po si Ted Wilson, kahit po yung ating mga leaders sa general conference, dapat miyembro tayo ng local church. Sapagkat yan ang ating pinanggalingan at yan ang focus ng ating paglilingkod. Kaya as local church leader, we must realize that it is our, our primary duty to give full attention to the youth of the church. Bakit? Diyan tayo nagpo-produce ng future leaders. Ako po, lumaki ko sa iglesia mula sa maliit ako na bata. Inakay ako ng aking magulang at ang aking mga kapatid. Ginaid ako na mas matanda sa akin ang aking mga kamag-anak. At dyan sa local church, naramdaman ko ang attention na binigay sa akin ng mga leaders. Kaya tayo naman ang mga leaders ngayon, pinapaalalahanan tayo mga kapatid. Our primary duty is to give full attention to the youth of the church. You have not been called to entertain the youth, but to lead them. Gaya natin ng mga leaders, mga master guides, hindi basta natin sila ini-entertain, kundi pangunahan natin sila. You have not been called to do the work alone, but to help others understand the responsibility toward the youth of this church. Tinawagan tayo na hindi dahil nag, hindi sa isa lang ano magagawa kundi magtulungan tayo na tulungan natin ang iba para mauntin, maintindihan nila ang responsibility sa mga kabataan sa iglesia. A clear understanding of the nature of youth ministry will be of great help. Dapat maunawaan natin at alam natin sa Pathfindering, sa Pathfindering Ministry at bilang mga master guide yung nature ng youth ministry ay maunawaan natin sila at ma magawa natin yung the best para sa kanila. So, you are not called to be the only ones with know-how. Hindi tumawag na nag-iisa lang ang leader, kundi maraming mga leaders ang tinawag. At marami iba't ibang ating kaalaman. Ang sabi rito, you are not called to be the only ones with know-how or to guard seriously your knowledge and expertise. You are called to train and help local youth leaders discover ways and means to help the youth of their churches and to assume responsibility for their youth. Iyan ang direction ng ating leadership training. Tayo na mga master guide. Ano? Dapat ipaalala sa atin ito. Maray ng iba sa atin ay narinig na ito, nabasa na ito, pero ngayong gabi inuulit ko. We are called to train and help local lay youth leaders to discover the ways and means to help the youth to their churches and to assume responsibility for the youth. For this, a proper understanding of youth ministry in the local church is pertinent. Bakit kung laging binabanggit, kahit ako ay nasa union level, kahit kayo ay nasa conference level, kahit ang hinahawakan ninyo ay district, ang pinaglilingkuran pa rin natin ay mga kabataang miyembro ng lokal na iglesia. Kaya itong ginagawa nating training orientation seminar ay hindi para sa atin lang sarili. mag tayo ng honors, makapagdagdaga ng ating accomplishment, certificate or pins, insignia. Pero ang dahilan nito ay para makapaglingkod tayo sa mga lokal na Iglesia. So the primary purpose of Adventist Youth Ministry is to win, to train, to commission, and to hold the youth. At ito ay mula sa edad na 6 hanggang 30 ano, to 30 years old. 
Yan ang, yo, pero ngayon ay dinagdagan na natin, ano? Plus 60 plus <laughs> yung mga kabataan. To fulfill this purpose, there is need for an active youth ministry that must have an organization through which it works. Kaya sa youth ministries, may mga ina-organize tayo. May mga organization tayo. Ano? Andiyan ang pathfindering ministry. Andan ang young professional. Andiyan ang amicus. Ano? At ang iba pa, yung young adults, ina-organize natin sila para alam nila kung saan ang level o area ng kanilang gawain. Ang ikalawa, napakalaga, train leadership to plan and lead in its activities. Kaya tayo nagpaplano ng mga ganito mga kapatid. Materials with which to work and a supporting constituency. Yan ang primary purpose ng Adventist Youth Ministry is to win, to train, to commission, and to hold the youth. In this master plan, ang sabi sa Testimonies, Volume 7, Page 64, the Lord has appointed the youth to be His helping hand. Hindi kayang gampanan ng mga pastor, ng mga guro, ng mga uh, leaders alone ang gawain. Kailangan natin ang mga kabataan bilang ating katuwang, katulong para gampanan ang gawain na iniata sa atin ng ating Panginoon. Youth are not only the future of the church, they are also very much part of it today. Nakita natin ano, mga kabataan, sila ang nag excel sila ang nag-lead. So the youth, if right, could sway a mighty influence. Kaya nakakatuwang ay paalala sa atin ito, sa messages to young people na sinulat ng ating propetisa. Ang mga na-equip natin sila ay magan, malaking impluensya ang na sa gawain ng ating Panginoon. This army of youth rightly trained can hasten the soon return of our Lord and Savior. Kaya yan ay laging ipinapaalala sa atin mga leaders, fellow master guides, na this army of youth rightly trained can hasten the soon return of our Lord Savior. Bakit? Almost 70 or 80% of the membership of our church belongs to the young people. Kaya sabi nga maaring sila ang tumapos ng gawain na hindi natin na magagampanan na tayo na mga lagpas na sa edad ng pagiging kabataan at bilang mga leader. Kaya yan ang challenge sa atin. Kaya ginagawa natin ang ganitong mga training and orientation. The minister's first responsibility is to learn how to work for young people and train them for service. At huwag ninyong isipin na yung mga ordained ministers lang o yung mga nagpastor lang. Lahat po tayo ay tinawagang magministeryo. Pag naglilingkod tayo, nagmi-ministeryo tayo. At ang responsibility natin ay matutunan natin how to work for young people and train them for service. At yan po'y mababasa natin sa mga sulat ni Ellen G. White, sa Gospel Workers, sa Christian Service, at sa Testimonies. So, ministry for Adventist youth is important because the spirit of unselfish labor for others give the stability and Christ-like loveliness to the character. Kaya napakaganda, no? Ako, uh, uh, mula nung ako ay naging kabataan, nakita ko yung mga leader, na-inspire ako, at ngayon ako ay tinawag din ng Panginoon mag-lead sa mga kabataan till now. Ano? Yung paglilingkod sa mga kabataan ay talagang ay naka- masaya. And brings peace and happiness to its possessor. Those who does exercise the Christian graces will grow and will be will become strong to work for God for God. 'Di ba may sabi ron sa Pathfinder Pathfinder strong, ano? Pag ang isang kabataan na akay natin na train natin, na equip natin, na commission natin at sa ay makikita natin kung gaano sila ay lumalago at nagiging matatag sa gawain ng Panginoon. At marami sila. Isa ako sa bunga nito, nitong ministry na to, especially sa pathfindering ministry, yung Boys of Youth Ministry yan. They will have clear spiritual perceptions, a steady growing faith, and an increased power in prayer. Kaya yung ano, yung mga leaders natin na na-equip, kasama yan ano, lumalago sila sa kapangyarihan ng maging mapanalanginin sapagkat ang 
panalangin ay bahagi ng paglilingkod. At ito ang source ng ating power. Uh, beside the word of God, ang panalangin bahagi ng ating panglilingkod. The only way to grow in grace is to be disinterestedly doing the very work which Christ has enjoined upon us. Is to engage to the extent of our ability in helping and blessing those who need the help we can give them. Strength comes by exercise. Activity is the very condition of life. Alam niyo, ito ang halos kabuuan, ano? Kaya napaka importante sa youth ministry ang mga bagay na ito. I hope and I pray that these simple devotional reminders to each one of us will guide us how to start another curriculum training. This club ministry training. Let's rally together. Fellow master guides, fellow leaders in the different institutions, schools, hospitals, and missions and conferences, academy, elementary, ano, college and university. Ay magsama-sama tayong balikati natin ng gawain na hamon ngayong panibagong kurikulum na inilaan sa atin at patuloy tayong lumago sa kaalaman para mas ma-equip tayo at makapag-equip tayo ng maraming mga kabataan na magiging leader pagdating ng panahon. Good evening and God bless us all. Okay, shall proceed to our garden of prayer. So thank you very much, Pastor Day, for your encouraging message this evening. Shall we pray? Dakila po namin Diyos na kayo po ay makapangyarihan sa lahat. Panginoon, sa gabing ito, narito po ang iyong mga leaders na siyang handang maglingkod sa inyong banal na gawain. Sa gabing ito, Panginoon, amin po ang harapin ang isang pagsasanay na kung saan ang iyong mga leaders ay kailang ma-equip. At the same time, we will grow as far as leadership is concerned. Panginoon, sa gabing ito, ang aming kaharaping pagsasanay, ito ay ang panibagong hamon para po sa amin na magkagawin, Panginoon, ang aming matutunan dito ay may babahagi po namin sa mga, sa mga kabataan na nais nice pong maglingkod at manguna as far as pathfinder is concerned. Panginoon po namin, Diyos, amin dinadalangin po ang lahat po ng mga directors from the highest, from general conference, going to Southern Asia Pacific Division, going down to North Philippine Union Conference, from the local conferences and local missions, going to the local churches. Panginoon, inyo silang pangunahan at bless po sila sa kanilang leadership. Especially, Panginoon, ang aming mga leaders sa mga nakatataas na posisyon. Sila ang magagabay po sa amin. Sila ang magtutuwid anuman po ang mga bagay na as far as leadership is concerned. Sila po ang magbibigay sa amin ng panibagong hamon sa buhay. Pero Panginoon po namin, Diyos, kung wala po kayo, ang lahat ng ito ay hindi po namin kayang gampanan at gawin. Sapagat kayo ang tunay na leader the master guide of all master guides. Panginoon po namin Diyos sa gabing ito, ang aming sarili ay patuloy po namin itinatalaga sa inyong banalagawain. Sana Panginoon tanggapin ang bawat isa na sana ang bawat pagsasanay, ang bawat pagtuturo na gagawin namin in the future will be meaningful and ito po ay magkapag-benefit sa bawat isang kabataan na nais nice maglingkod sa larangan po ng gawain. Muli, Panginoon, nagpapasalamat po kami kay patuloy niyo kayo pinapalahanan sa bawat hakbang at desisyon na aming gagawin. At kayo po ang patuloy na manguna sa batya po sa amin. Ito po ang aming dalan at pinapasalamatan sa pangalan ni Jesus. Let's pray. Pinupuri ka namin, Panginoon, sapagat sa gabing ito na kapagsimula kami sa aming orientation ng CMT. Salamat po sa karapatan na gamitin niyo po kami para i-train din namin ang aming fellow leaders, master guides. At tulungan niyo po kami na maunawaan namin ang, ang direction ng bagong curriculum na ito sa pangunguna ng aming youth servant, Pastor Ronine Bago. At sa support ni 
Master Guide Abdel Somoso. Naway makita namin ng maliwanag ang responsibilidad na gagampanan namin sa mga susunod na panahon para ito po ay maging paraan na marami kaming mga kabataan ang masanay at maihanda sa malaking gawain sa field. Pagpalain nyo rin ang aming mga master, fellow master guide na ngayon ay narito. I-bless nyo po kami at patuloy na ang inyong presence ang maranasan namin sa pamamagitan ng Holy Spirit. Thank you, loving Father, for hearing and answering our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Good evening to everyone. It is an honor to introduce to you our two guest speakers. Our first speaker is a former youth servant of Central Luzon Conference and North Philippine Union Conference. He has also taught at AUP College of Theology for almost seven years. He loves to write theological and news articles. He published several of them in Adventist academic and news publications. He has also written a book entitled Voice of Youth, Empowering the Youth for Evangelism. He is now writing his dissertation to complete his PhD in Old Testament while serving as a youth servant at Southern Asia Pacific Division. His wife is Mom Geneva, and they have two sons, Vaughn and Harold. Our first speaker is none other than Master Guide Ron Hennebago. Our second speaker is a study at AUP and NVC, an invested Master Guide, AUP Master Guide Training Course Director, and Deputy, and Deputy Director, Deputy uh, deputor for five years and VC and GTC di director, Pathfinder director, Youth Faster and Pathfinder director in Palau, Youth Faster and Pathfinder director in Northern California, USA, Pathfinder deputy, Ontario Pathfinder Club, USA, Chaplain instructor, deputy training at Trinity Pathfinder Club, Covuna, USA, SLM support team member and NPUC Pathfinder Ministry Advisor, 20 years lecturer and consultant in Master Guide and Pathfinder and Adventurer Ministry worldwide. Our second speaker is none other than Master Guide Abjel P. Somoso. Shall we now give our undivided attention to our first speaker, Master Guide Ron Hennebago. Si Jesus na para 
sa'yo At kung siya'y iyong lingwi Ay makikita mo Ang buhay na walang hanggap Siya'y daging sasayin Buksan mo ang puso't isip mo Kaibigan ko Namatay si Jesus Na para sa'yo At kung siya'y iyong Ang buhay na walang hanggan, siya'y laging sa sayo. Namatay si Jesus na para sa iyo, at kung siya'y iyong dinggin, ay makikita mo. Ang buhay na walang hanggan, siya ay naging sasa iyo. Blessed evening, everyone. Do you hear me well? Yes, Cap. Loud and clear, Pastor Ron. Okay. Thank, thank you very much, uh, Pastor uh, Dave uh, Rado, for the invitation. At ganun din uh, kay Master Guide Nilo and uh, sa atin pong mga uh, Master Guides ngayong gabi. Uh, thank you very much and um, for, for, for inviting me to share with you about the CMT. Um, Thank you also for the song, uh, indeed inspiring, and uh, really we need uh, the Lord, we need Jesus Christ. So um, this my my lecture would be uh, a a at least intro to CMT um, on Wednesday. There will be another one. Uh, the author of CMT will be with us uh, this Wednesday, so don't miss uh, that opportunity. Uh, please join again uh, because there are questions probably merong siguro mga tanong na hindi ko uh, masasagot uh, meron tanong na sasagutin ni Master Gail Abdiel <laughs> or ni Pastor Dave so but if we have questions that we cannot settle here uh, we can bring uh, on Wednesday so uh, we'll be with the author of uh, the CMT So um, yeah, please allow me to share uh, my screen. Yeah. So before I continue, let's pray. Our dear Holy Father, this uh, evening, O Lord, as we have this lecture, may your blessing be upon us. Thank you very much for the reminder that we need to equip our young people, as Pastor Dave uh, emphasized, has emphasized a while ago. Lord, may your blessing be upon us so uh, we can uh, be instruments so we can equip and make your uh, disciple, your young people in NPOC. Be with us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for the introduction a while ago. Uh, I praise the Lord that I was able to uh, finish my writing and I was able to defend and God has been so good that uh, uh, my, my dissertation uh, has been accepted by IAS, okay? So soon uh, it will be published uh, for you to take hold of it. Yeah, so um, Club Ministries, it is a curriculum framework that provides in-depth training for club, uh, let me just, okay, for the club staff in specific roles. So, um, so it is designed to uh, provide us an in-depth training. Probably some of uh, the, the topics are but a review for those who have taken a, a PLA and a PLA, but uh, this has been designed for an in-depth study uh, for specific roles uh, that uh, we have. And I'll be uh, sharing to you, say share ko sa inyo mamaya kung ano mga roles na to. So the certifications are designed to be completed within one year. 
and are meant to equip leaders of all varieties uh, for the ministries in which they serve. So, so you're given one year to, uh, to complete one certification, for example, a certification on uh, counseling or certification on, uh, on uh, directorship. So you're given one year. Uh, it is designed not for you uh, to take all this certification, but uh, to master one certification in a year. So that would be uh, great. Okay. And they are not levels of investiture achievement such as Sunbeam, friend, or guide, but rather opportunities for individuals to learn more about being an effective director, instructor, counselor. So it is not an investiture. So like, for example, you will have an investiture for, for counselors. No, it is only a certification as uh, the CMT is uh, um, saying. Okay, just a minute. Uh, Pastor Dipsan, uh, sandali lang. Ha? Okay, while uh, Pastor Ron is talking to Ma'am Lalaine because this is the last service of SSD, uh, the copy of this uh, manual will be distributed to you I don't know if uh, some of our fellow members of the advisory of NPUC council uh, distributed it already. Magkakaroon po kayo ng kopya para pag-aralan nyo rin, magkaroon na kayo ng knowledge. And then sa second uh, orientation natin, training seminar sa May, ay kayo po ay pwede nang uh, mag-share ng inyong ibang mga knowledge. And then we will give you the leeway to to do the orientation in your missions conferences. If you have some questions, chat it to our chat box with regards kung kayo po ay nag-advance reading na dun sa manual. Pwede po kayong mag-chat na dyan kasi wala na tayong entertaining na live na questions. Babasahin na lang po natin at meron pong in charge. Okay, thank you very much, Pastor Ron. It's your time. Now. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Yeah, so like what I've said, uh, hindi siya investiture. Hindi na rin kailangan mag-investiture kapag nakatapos tayo ng isang certification. Uh, yeah, so you will just receive a, a certification certificate and also a PIN. So certification are earned by attending workshops. So there are several ways you can be certified. Uh, you attend the workshops um, designed or uh, organized by uh, an, a union. Uh, also in, in the conference. So you need to work with a mentor. Yes, you have so many mentors already, uh, those who have uh, already taken uh, APLA and PLA. So you can be um, mentors. Uh, you can have your mentees. Uh, doing field work. Yeah, so the certification, kaya one year siya kasi may field work siya. Hindi lang uupo tayo and then uh, my says certify na tayo. So you need to have field work. And then preparing a documentation for folio. So kailangan merong evidence, uh, evidence yung inyong uh, ginawang uh, uh, seminar, yung evidence yung inyong ginawang uh, um, activities okay, or certification na i-require dito sa CMT. So naandiyan naman sa CMT uh, manual ang uh, paraan para uh, gawin natin yung documentation. So uh, there are several notes that I'd like to share with you that is also in the CMT uh, document. CMT certification are replacing the, the Pathfinder Leadership Award and Advanced Pathfinder Leadership Award or APLA and PIA. So yeah, it has been mentioned, it has uh, been mentioned uh, last year that uh, we're no longer uh, have the PLA, a PLA. So uh, it should stop uh, since we have already the uh, CMT. Okay, so that note two, receiving a CMT pin is not considered investiture, but rather awarding of a certificate. The highest investiture in club ministries continues to be master guide. So uh, we want to emphasize that master guide is okay the master guide is the highest okay 
uh, investiture in club ministries. And this certification will enhance, okay, enhance niya uh, ang ating uh, like pagiging counselor. Later on, they are still developing pagiging chaplain. Papaano tayo magiging chaplain? Kasi noon, di ba, marami tayong tinatawag na chaplain uh, sa ating uh, pathfinder. But the, the question is, meron ba silang uh, training about, uh, about uh, chaplaincy? So uh, that would uh, uh, later on on the certification. So we will keep on adding on the certification that we have here. So note number three, CMT certification are connected to a club role or position, meaning that there is no point to achieve them all unless you are the only leader in a club. So uh, meaning that there is no point to achieve them all. So uh, not necessarily, okay, uh, I have to take all these certifications. No, it, it's better if you have a club. Okay, attend ka sa, ano, ako sa director. Ikaw attend sa counselo, counseling. Ikaw attend sa uh, ganito certification. So uh, you are all uh, sabay-sabay, you are growing. Not only you taking all these uh, trainings na... Uh, kinuha mo ng lahat and then uh, uh, but yung iba na yung kasama hindi na sila nakakuha ng training. So CMT certification are intended for all members of a team. Okay? So it is intended for all members of a team. So it's better to be uh, trained as a team. So kung magano kayo Pastor Dave, uh, since uh, we will not have a, a certification here in SSD, it will be done in the union level. Uh, and uh, in the conference, so uh, you need to have uh, to, to to enroll a team of uh, a team coming from the club. So you can have several person attending the director's uh, certification or counselor certification or treasurer secretarial uh, um, um, certifications. Yeah, so I'll just go uh, go through the uh, the several uh, certifications we have so far. Ito yung CMT Pathfinder Basic Stop Certification. So before, uh, this is basic. This is the basic stop certification. So before uh, you go through certifications, uh, you need to have this Pathfinder Basic Stop Certification. Uh, so let's see. Some of uh, you have uh, already done or you you completed this uh, uh, basic stuff training but if not uh, because you can start <clears throat> having this uh, by uh, joining you know this uh, um, uh, basic stuff training club ministry purpose and history club organization program programming and planning club outreach uh, ceremonies and drill developmental growth introduction to teaching medical risk management and child safety issues. Probably if you miss something here uh, in this basic staff training, you can, uh, you can uh, see and evaluate. And the number nine required field work and then recognition of completion. So recognition of completion. So uh, after the, the field work has been done. So I'll, I'd like to note uh, these two, the last two required field work. So you need to create a portfolio that contains the handouts and your personal notes from the workshop that you attend. So handouts, personal notes, and probably pictures of the, 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 the effort that you have done in the workshop. And then com, com, recognition of completion. Upon completion of the required workshops, the participant is eligible to receive an NML uh, PIN and certificate of Completion. As of now, we don't have that, uh, but uh, we'll uh, have it soon. Okay, these uh, pins that uh, you 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 will be needing. So, yeah, uh, recognition of completion. Now, so these are the uh, Pathfinder the training that you can have. So you can see here. So the first logo that you can see here, yeah, that logo uh, uh, above the CMT Pathfinder. So yan yung yung uh, makukuha ninyo pagkatapos ng basic staff certification. So that pin. And then the next pin is this one. Okay. So Pathfinder Club Counselor Certification. So what are the prerequisites here? Uh, be at least 18 years old. 
commit to the Youth Children Ministry Volunteer Code of Conduct. So, um, napaka-specific kasi US ng ano, ganito yung uh, Code of Conduct na yung mga bata kailangan well-protected uh, sa kanilang uh, mga uh, okay, sa mga pathfinders o sa mga leaders. So, we need to we need to protect them. So, uh, we need to be committed to this one. And then three, uh, be currently approved by your conference child protection screening verification. So uh, we, we have samples in the CMT, um, uh, but we can have adaptation in your union on how you will be able to uh, have this. And then number four, be a baptized member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. And then five, have completed the CMT Pathfinder Basic Staff Training Certificate. So before you go through this counselor certification, you should have uh, completed the Basic Staff Training Certificate. So this is for the Pathfinder Club counselor certification. If you, you know, uh, tiningnan ko yung ano yung kanyang uh, mga matias na And uh, blessing then na marami kayo, maraming PLA and FPLA that you know, you can have this program, but necessary, not necessarily that you are PLA or a PLA for you to teach uh, 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 this one. Um, you can actually um, invite a, 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 a master guide who is a guidance counselor uh, to train or to, to conduct this training. So you'll have a better training. Uh, yeah, yeah. So go, go, Pastor Dave. To uh, we have, we are blessed in in AUP. We have several people, several counselors who can help you on this task. A Pathfinder Club instructor. So this one is another one, uh, another training, another uh, certification. So prerequisites: be at least eighteen years old, and then so on. Uh, the same. Commit to the Youth Children Ministry Volunteer Code of Conduct. And then approval of the conference, uh, be a baptized Seventh-day Adventist Christian who loves uh, Jesus and is willing to share this love in both word and deed. And then five, complete Pathfinder uh, Club Basic Certification and Staff Training Certificate. So, yeah, you have also this, uh, um, if you, uh, um, I, so your CMT document na to, uh, kung makikita nyo, uh, merong um, uh, certification objectives pa ano yung after the, the training you'll be able to to know uh, to know the objectives para uh, makuha ninyo tong uh, club instructor so yeah and then if you don't ha uh, have it yet uh, we can share you the link later so merong training and that that is this is the the pin that is uh, for the Pathfinder instructor. Then the next one is CMT Pathfinder Club Secretary and Treasurer. So it would be good that if uh, that each club should be going through this training uh, as a team, okay, as a team. So when they go back as a team, they are uh, fully charged. Uh, they they have you know they have uh, 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 they are fresh and enhance their skills on uh, being a secretary and treasurer. Okay, so uh, there are several uh, um, um, prerequisites, but we'll not uh, read them all. So, and then the next uh, training is Pathfinder Club Director Certification. I think this is the last. So uh, we have the Director Certification, and this is the pin that goes with it. So, uh, and it has also a curriculum to follow uh, for the one. Okay, uh, for this one, you can invite uh, probably you can invite, uh, yeah, someone who is a club director who has run a, pro, uh, 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 a program or coming from the union. Okay, so uh, as long as the one who will be teaching is uh, um, uh, recognized by either union or conference. Um, before, yeah, so this is the last for uh, for the uh, certification. So we have so far, uh, we have uh, the counselor certification, instructor certification, uh, secretary, treasurer, and director uh, certification. And they are still developing the chaplaincy um, uh, certification. Uh, and to update you regarding the uh, new curriculum adaptation of SSD, uh, Pastor Dave probably have shared this already. So we have uh, 
voted to approve the adaptation of the Master Guide curriculum for SSD, Voice of Youth uh, Certification. So we want our young, uh, uh, our upcoming Master Guides to uh, be certified in Voice of Youth. So they have this, uh, you know, mayroon silang uh, experience sa evangelism. Read a chapter a day following the GC Bible reading plan. This is one of the options that they can have. Be an active member of a prayer network in your local church. I think so far I have seen, uh, I think it's in, in Indonesia and also here in, in NPUC that I know there is a prayer network of master guides, especially particularly in CLC. I don't know in other mission and conference. And then be a certified sad free movement advocate. Okay. So uh, we added this because uh, we want uh, our, the next generation to uh, revive the uh, temperance movement because we are known in the 19th century to be uh, to champ uh, we champion uh, 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 the 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 anti uh, anti smoking alcohol and drugs campaign. But now uh, it seems that we lost the, that 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 momentum. Pero gusto natin na maibalik ulit yun na ang ating mga master guests, they're active uh, in uh, leading our young people in the church and also in the community to be sad free, smoke alcohol and drugs free. And yeah, in the Southern uh, Asia Pacific Division, the Boys of Youth is our main approach to reach uh, out the communities for Jesus. It's not, it is not the only approach, but the main one of the main approaches to reach out the communities for Jesus. So I think that's all for for uh, my presentation tonight. And um, yeah, and I know uh, uh, Master Guide Abdiel will also have the comparative uh, uh, study presentation on these documents that we have. Okay, thank you very much, Master Guide. Okay, thank you very much, Pastor Ron. Before we give the time to uh, Master Guide Abdiel Somoso, if you have some questions with regards, I think we can entertain three questions in the chat box. If you have, uh, naglagay po ko dyan. If you have, uh, okay, do you have some question? Okay, isa pong question, tanungin natin ito from SLM, from Ma'am Master Guy Jocelyn Rodriguez. If ever we are not certified or we are not able to take the certification, does not mean we are no longer qualified to be stopped in the coming years. Pastor Ron? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, this is new. Kapag ginawa natin yun, uh, if we, uh, you know, will not allow you to lead uh, without certification, who will lead? <laughs> so it is a transition. This year is a transition. So um, since this is a transition, while you are leading, be certified. Okay, be certified, you know, uh, counselor, be a certified director. So while well, you are accomplishing. Uh, so this is new and we are uh, just um, ad adapting it and, you know, uh, uh, spreading, you know, uh, we don't have actually uh, a group of that, uh, that we have uh, certified already. Uh, in, in East Indonesia, they, they have uh, already, they have been doing this. So they have uh, already certified uh, directors, certified uh, so on and so forth. So yeah, so that my answer is no, you can continue uh, working uh, as staff, but continue to grow through DCMT. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, 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 nasagot po, ano? Kaya we don't need to stop while we are not yet uh, certified. Hindi naman ang angolugan na hindi na kayo. We continue to serve. And then, yun nga sabi ni Pastor Ron, we will launch the training, we'll start the training maybe this year so that we can have the certification next year. Ang target date natin, mga kapatid, ay July. This coming July, we will start the training in the union level and then the certification or the awarding will be on next year, July. Okay, do you have some questions? Kung wala na, only one lang ang nagtanong. Dr. Dave, Dr. Dave. Yes, uh, pakichat na lang po, sir, sana. Para mabilis tayo? Kung ko lang, Pastor Dave, kung sa, sa atin sa institution po, paano yung mga Pathfinder instructor? Can we not already teach the Pathfinder or the, the, the lessons to our children despite that we have 
We have new curriculum under CMT Pathfinder Basic Staff Certification. Ay, sinabi na po kanina ni Pastor Ron na pwede ituloy pero kailangan ma-certify sila. Sa mga institusyon mo, may club din po dyan eh. Kaya yan ay club ministry training. So uh, we are po not ay, certified kung yan ay yet. Nasa yes, uh, technically you are not cert certified yet. Technically. Okay. Uh, because you need to follow the CMT document bef uh, before you uh, can be, uh, you can have the PINs and certification. So you, ha you have to go through the training. Okay, thank you. But sir. not necessarily if you have accomplished something already in what, uh, you know, if you have yung ating document, uh, yung ating document na, uh, na training, but you have accomplished that already, just uh, show and also. Uh, uh, give evidence through a portfolio that you have accomplished that one. Okay, especially you know the the APA and PLA. I think uh, you have gone through uh, in depth uh, learning. So uh, probably yeah, you just need to uh, see and evaluate uh, this document. Can I add something? Okay, thank you very much, Pastor Ron. And the last the last question. Sa certification, hindi pa po ba involved ang mga MGTs? <laughs> mm, hindi pa po ba involved ang MGTs? Yeah, uh, wala namang sinabing uh, sa prerequisites. Uh, as I review it, there is no, it is not required that you are invested. Uh, master guide. Yeah, so you can go through this. Uh, but uh, the requirement is you are baptized. Okay, because they, they are not they, uh, it was asked during our division directors. Um, the problem is, in, in in other division, they have lack of master guides. So, uh, yung CMT, parang ano nito, uh, entrance di sa to train. But sa atin, we have so many, many master guides. So, it up it, it's up to you if you want to make it like, uh, it's up to master guide level only, but it is not uh, a, a prerequisite that you are a master guide before you can go through this. But a pathfinder, you need to be a pathfinder, you know, to have this one. So, okay, thank you very much. Uh, uh, someone has dalawang, asked that. Yes. Okay, Pastor Ron, meron pang dalawang question dito. Siguro, uh, uh, ano naman, uh, if this is an adapted version by SSD, is there any other version? Yeah, um, uh, the 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 CMT we have not uh, uh, added some uh, on the CMT, so we take it as is. Okay, so on the, on the CMT the we adapted. What we adapted the is the, uh, the curriculum. Yeah, curriculum. Okay. Yeah, the, the the question is uh, of master guide big. Yeah, it can be answered by by union if you want to adapt it because each uh, union should adapt the the document. So um, you can adapt it in your uh, area if you have something that you want to, to add. Because like, for example, in Indonesia, they have uh, the adaptation. But at least in the, in, in the SSD, yeah, we have given our adaptation already and shared it to you. Okay. Uh, sabi Patilan, it would be hard for them in accomplishing the requirements. Doon sa mga MGTs, kaya hindi natin siguro... Yeah. Hindi muna natin sila i-involve kasi hindi pa naman sila nagpapara ng club. Sila pala ay trainees. Siguro bigay yes. muna natin sa mga may responsibility sa clubs. Yun ang yeah. aking okay, sabi. so it's up to, uh, thank you Pastor Dave, it's up to uh, NPUC uh, to do that. Okay, so uh, it, it was uh, asked also in our uh, division level and that was the answer of the, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much Pastor Ron. Before we proceed, don't worry po mga kapatid, ito po ay bago. Ito po ay pinag-uusapan pa sa Youth Council, ng mga Youth Directors and other members of the Council. We will release the final adaptation and the guidelines how to start this training. Thank you very much. Now, we will give now the time to Master Guide Adjel Sumoso. Thank you very much, Pastor Ron. At mamaya yes. ay huwag ka muna alis. If you are yeah. uh, attending okay. the funeral service, thank you very much. Pastor. Thank you. Thank you. Blessings. All right. Uh, good evening and good morning, dalawa. Seba, good afternoon. Um, it's an honor to be uh, uh, to be co-speakers uh, together with uh, Pastor Ron. 
uh, malaking teritoryong hinahawakan niya and ang concern is Pathfinder Ministry and Venturing Ministry. Uh, before I start, I'd like to uh, ask the I'd like to ask the, you to please concentrate on the following issues here on on how we analyze our training. Hindi po ito super bago. Kung may super storm, ay hindi po ito super bago. Okay? So, let me give you an illustration first. I'm wearing a head hat. I'm wearing a white hat. And I'm wearing a, I can wear a yellow hat. Ito pong, a, ito pong CMT program. If you're wearing like this, I'm wearing this one. You can, you can do everything. You can be a contra, uh, you can be a contractor, you can be a architect, you can be a janitor, or you can. But this one, you need to be a painter, kasi nakalagay dyan yung product ng paint. Right now, nakafocus ko itong CMT. Most of this, as I analyze, as uh, I also asked. Uh, also, master guides, mga veterans natin, master guides, and also some directors, that this, this program, nakakoncentrate po, nakakoncentrate po sa pathfindering and adventuring ministry, especially uh, pathfinder ministry. So, as you notice, hindi naka-flash dito yung um, curic curic curriculum, yung 200, uh, 237 pages. Ito po ay hindi super bago. Bakit po? kasama pa rin ang Pathfinder Ministry items like progressive classes, operational system, nandito pa rin ang philosophies and objectives, we call that fundamentals of pathfindering. Nalala nyo po nung kayo ay mag-master guide, uh, I hope uh, mas maraming master guides dito. This is a reminder. Di ba sa checklist natin, ang una ay fundamentals of pathfindering, uh, next is fundamentals of pathfindering counseling, ang sunod po dyan ay ano po, in-service training. At uh, meron pa mga iba, like campings or honor skill development. Ang ating 40 po as master guide, as fat pine leader, nag-PLA ka man o APLA, basta pag master guide ka, or if you're a club director, or if you're leading a group, um, oh by the way, before we proceed, maganda po itong presentation na kasi, nito, kasi ang CMT, pareho din po yan dito sa Amerika, uh, merong AYMT program, and I'm uh, doing and giving lecture to Sa, sa mga programs ng Master Guides. Ganito po yun. Meron tayong uh, structure. Uh, next meeting, maybe on a separate time, we'll give you a the flow chart of our command. Uh, command. Yan po ay medyo strong word command. Ito po ay flow chart ng sense of responsibility from general conference down to union level, down to conference level. Ano pong sunod sa, sa youth director ng conference? Sa, sa schematic diagram natin, yung flow chart natin, anong sunod po doon? Pababa. Pa, Ang sunod po doon ay area coordinators with S. Sunod po ay church board, sunod at pathfinder director, sunod po ay mga staff. Nagkataon lang po na itong, itong uh, ating uh, presentation ay uh, nagkataon lang na galing sa, galing sa uh, North American Divisions. Pero nung inadapt, i-adapt ng SSD ay marami po ritong mga changes tulad ng sa mga implements natin at sa mga instructions natin tulad ng cow to carabao di ba yung mga storm to bagyo or any any uh, any narrative na adapt, adapted sa ating situation kung ikaw may probinsya ikaw man sa Manila sa your ethnic ethnicity or language kaya pag inimplement ko ito ay uh, kami pong nasa advisory ay uh, masugid po namin titingnan kung ano pwede nating ipasok sa sa ating sistema ng pagtuturo sa mga bata. Okay. As I told you, we are wearing hats for Pathfinder Ministry. I wish I can uh, point you uh, my PowerPoint, but I have limited time. Buti rito maaga pa sa inyo gagabi na. So, lugi kayo. To make the long story short, the CMT, okay, ang CMT is adjusted program based sa need ng pangkalahatan sa divisions. Pero still, Still, ang ating Pathfinder Ministry, ang core ng Pathfinder Ministry is the same. Is the same. Ganun, ganun pa rin ulit. Kung kayo po ay kumakain sa Jollibee o kaya kumakain sa tindahan, over and over again, yun po ang sineserve natin kasi effective. Um, ang tawag po doon ay yung ating pagkain na sineserve or main product natin. What is the main product of Pathfinder Ministry? Ito pong CMT, nag specialize ng 
basic staff training course. Ang basic staff training course po, as na you notice, on the first part, even this is certification, basic staff training course is the operational system kapag mag-direct kayo ng isang club. So, if you go back to the old basic staff training course manual, makapansin nyo, pag kinumpere nyo ho yun, nakalagay doon may idinagdag or kinonsize nila tulad ng ways pathfinders learn, teaching uh, uh, how to be creative, at ang pinakahuli po yung risk management. So, ang dinagdag po doon sa basic staff training course is the risk management. Bakit po? Kung ito po ay sa Diyos na gawain, si Satanas busy ring magsira ng ating staff ng organization at mga bata. Do you agree? Kung merong, merong Diyos, may demonyo rin na sisira. So, very very wise ang leadership natin kasi meron tayong backup. Did you know that? Ang pinaka, isa sa pinakamalaking budget ng general conference or divisions ay pera to support all our ministry, mag Dorcas man yan, maging, maging AY man yan, maging Pathfinder man yan, especially for the kids. That's why itong kurikulong ito, kurikulum na to, pag in nyo ito, these are the following requirements na kinakailangan yung makita. Number one, kung sino ka. You are a director. Next, kasama ka sa isang church. You need to be a baptized member. Hindi purity ito na Boy Scout ka, pwede kang pumasok. O magaling kang leader, pwede kang pumasok. No. Um, as we analyze uh, from the North American Division, pati ito, napansin nila na you need to safeguard our kids by giving you a background check. Uh, scary naman yung background check kung ikaw ay illegal o hindi, uh, kung ikaw ay nananampal o hindi. Remember, the most important um, uh, person in Pathfinder ministry are the Pathfinders. Parang mga anak yan. Bibigay sa'yo ng mga magulang yung mga anak pero kinakailangan ay ma-feel ng lahat na safe sila kaya mayroong background check. So, yun po initiative. Uh, initiate po yun ng local conferences or may directive galing sa union. Ang sunod po, I want, you, I want to remind you na ang content nito, 80% ng content nito is coming from the Pathfinder Administrative Manual. Sir Nilo, anong, anong revision ang Pathfinder uh, Administrative Manual na ginagamit? Si is uh, our, uh, ang ating union sa materials. Napansin nyo po na hanggang ngayon, hindi binabago from 2004, hindi binabago, 2002 na bago actually, 2004, hanggang ngayon po yun ang ginagamit as reference. Pathfinder PA, uh, Pathfinder Administrative Manual Page. Kaya ito pong bagong curriculum na to, I wish I can share it with you, uh, sined sa amin. I don't wanna send everything kasi hindi pa final from the union. Nakalak ang references po nito ay Pathfinder Administrative Manual page, so, and on. Okay? So, very important. Criteria, prerogatives, and ang resource materials nito po ay yung dati pa rin, ang dating daan. <laughs> Mamili itong dati pa rin ipinopromote natin na sana tayo ay maging matino sa pagtuturo. We need to be organized, well-informed, uh, well-educated, and very, very well in smiling for in front of the kids. But find their administrative manual. So, kung kayo po ay pupunta sa training na to, and if you're a master guide, ito ay CCO na sa inyo. Kasi before you become a, you, you take this CMT, meron na kayong the following training. Meron kayong basic staff training course. At kapag nasa assigned po kayo sa isang club, whether you like it or not, you need to have a operational system, network, o orientation sa loob ng club paano mag ng Pathfinder Club. As I told you before sa mga seminars ay Pathfinder Ministry is a prolonged, it's like a mini school pero a prolonged vacation Bible school na mayroong nagdi-direct. Bakit may director? Kasi may script. Mayroong in charge sa lahat ng mga bagay na pagtuturo. Uh, pero ang gusto ko pong sabihin dito, kahit napakaraming upgrades, napansin nyo po ito, ang daming mga kung ano ng parapelyagas, ito po ay hindi ang core. Hindi, this is not the main core of, of C, CMT. Napansin ko lang po sa CMT, okay? Nire-reinforce dito kung paano tayo mag-handle ng item na binibigay natin sa mga bata. At yan po ang sasabihin ko, what is the main main menu ng mga bata? Okay. Ito pong CMT, director's training, okay? Director's training, counselor's training, ano pa? Instructor's training, deputy director's training, treasurer's training, certi or certification. Ito po ay compare sa isang cook. 
ikaw in charge isang cook o isang isang restaurant na ito training sa iyo magluto itong training sa iyo mag-serve ito ito ang kaldero gagamitin niyo ito ang paano tayo magko-close ng restaurant paano tayo lahat ng operational system na maging efficient or effective ang efficient po ay talaga mas magaling ka yung effectivity basta makaraos lang yung club nyo pero para para mag efficient kayo in leadership in ministry in all of these things kinakailangan tayo mas certified or may extra training like this like PLA uh, APLA or may mga annual pero sa kabila ng mga training natin ang main core po natin ay gusto ko pong i-share ito okay dun po sa mga master guides na at ngayon ang pinaka-importante po ay hindi yung certification ito Okay, let me, uh, I'll show this to you. Okay. But anyway, uh, I can't, uh, I think I'm running out of time. Doon po sa mga master guides na, maalala nyo po na meron tayong, meron tayong tinatawag na progressive classes. Kung bakit po mayroong club, dahil may mga bata at nagtuturot po tayo sa mga bata. Uh, let me tear this off. Ano pong tinuturo natin sa mga bata? Kaya pag sinabi mo pathfinder ring, ay mas maganda mag magano lang tayo, mag gawin lang natin, mangaral lang, lang tayo. Mag-focus na tayo sa evangelism. Yes. But you know what? If we do did it right in maintaining in presenting the progressive classes, yung CMT ma-appreciate yung husto or AYMT or APLA, APL or master guide kasi ang main focus nito is preparing them for service. Uh, hindi right away mag-serve sila yung mga bata. What would you expect sa mga bata? mag na? Yes, it's good. Kasi sa Pathfinder Ministry, meron tayong pong objectives. Kung binago nila, so yun ang susunod natin. As I, uh, as I uh, research, ayon sa ating bubuit at sa mga leaders and up to now, binding pa rin ho ang mga objectives ng ating Pathfinder Ministry. Number one, we want them to know that God and church love them. Of course, we want them to them to grow. We want them to know a lot of a lot of things. So to meet that objective, these are our goals. Halimbawa po, nagkaroon kayo ng enrollment, mag open kayo ng school or pathfinder training for the whole year, kikreate kayo ng staff. Pag nagcreate kayo ng staff, kaya kailangan required sa isa staff ma-certify as a master guide, approved ng board with your age. At the same time, meron kayong basic staff training Certification and course. So, kapag nakakuha na kayo noon, ito, bagong presentation, you need to get this again. But mind you again, merong basic dito na halos nakalikta ng iba na pa-activity tayo ng pa-activity, yung pala ay merong danger ahead and that is the risk management. Ang sunod po noon ay maggagawa po kayo ng mga programs. Nandito pa rin po sa basic staff training course, sa Pathfinder Administrative Manual, ang programming and planning. Ito bang programming and planning ito based on what is your experience or what you want to do dito sa pathfindering? Hindi po. Ang programming and planning po ng pathfindering po ay sa isang school na mayroong grade 1, grade 2, grade 3, grade 4, grade 5, grade 6. Yan po ay ang friend, companion, explorer, ranger, voyager guide, hindi master guide. And it's another training course offered by the conference. So kapag kayo po ay nasa friend, I'll give you one example. Pag kayo training ng friend o ng companion o ng explorer, uh, tanungin natin dito, uh, since na nasa screen ko, eh, si Mameli, Mameli, anong, anong year ng friend, companion, explorer? Anong mga taon usually? Or anong grade nila sa elementary? Is it grade 4, grade 5, and grade 6, right? Or 10, 11, and 12? Sa, meron silang mga requirements, kaya nga i-invest natin at the end. Mag-graduate sila at the end. Pero bago mag-start, magpo-programming and planning na tayo. At anong ihahanda natin ngayon? Kahit na ikaw, nag-cert, ikaw ay director at ikaw ay naging master guide. Pero kung hindi ka efficient, itong training ito for your efficiency. Ikaw pa rin ay cranky and neurotic na samantalang pinaparaise nyo ay be pure and kind. Pero ikaw ay matapang pa rin sa harap ng mga bata. I think uh, we need to refine that. May mga principles doon. As a counselor, Okay, ang counselor po ay frontline natin. As a chaplain, 90% po ng ating ginagawa sa pathfindering is more on a spiritual matter for the kid. Preparing them. Okay, sidetrack tayo. Anong binibigay natin? 
the following. Okay, tandaan nyo po, uh, I hope na kapag kayo ay nag-CMT training, dala-dala nyo po ito. Ginagawa ko ito because I'm wearing a hat for the kids, hindi for 16 years old pataas. Kasi yung 16 years old pataas, ito mga pathfinders, pag naging 16, they will still appreciate. Bigyan po kayo ng isang example. Ilang churches po ang napaglingkuran na ko rin. Sila, kahit sila ay boring, kahit, sila, kahit kayo ay boring, kahit ang programs nyo ay redundant, pero lagi nyong finifid sila ng activity na nagpo-point sa Panginoon. Did you know that? Paglaki nila, yun ang kanilang dinadala. And the Holy Spirit will inspire from within kung anong natutunan nila. Uh, I'll give you one example. Meron kami talaga rito ang pasaway, hindi nakikinig, laging may demerit, talagang pati sa bahay, pasaway, pati sa uncle, ako yung uncle niya. Talagang mahirap, idil. Ngayon, speaker namin ng Pathfinder Day. You never know kung ano mangyayari sa bata. Kaya nga, train up a child in the way they said ko. Kasi sisingilin nyo, hindi during Pathfinder time, sisingilin nyo sila when they are old. Okay, I'm not giving sermon. Gusto ko lang ipakita sa inyo ang reality. Ang reality po, ang CMT is to back up ang ating sinerserve. Habang nagtitraining tayo pagiging great cook, ang sinerserve pa rin natin ay masarap na halo-halo o masarap na ano ba, yung mga vegetarian talong, yung mga gusto ng karne ay chicken, joy. CMT is for you just to be efficient based on the objective. Kasi ano pong sineserve natin? Ang sineserve natin activity that we cater the general purpose of pathfindering. Number two, we want them to know that they have, they need to see, they need to discover the spiritual matters. Kaya nga po sa mga, okay, ano pa po, uh, meron ditong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ito po yung progressive classes materials natin. Companion, Explorer, Ranger, Voyager, Guide, merong Fred, merong Health and Fitness, merong Outdoor Life, merong Nature Study, lahat yun hanggang maging guide sila. At ang pinakamahalaga po dyan, this is Bible verse and Spirit of Prophecy verse. Nagba-Bible study po tayo, di ba? Nangangaral tayo. Bibigyan natin ng 28 fundamental belief. O minsan, bibigyan pa natin ng 34 fundamental belief or any belief sa track natin. Did you know that sa training pathfindering, maliban pa na may 27 fundamental belief, kailangan nilang ma-memorize ang mga libro. Kapag nagbabible study ka ba, pinamemorize nila ang mga libro ng Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus hanggang sa Malachi, Malachi, or Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, hanggang Revelation. And on top of that, meron pa silang reaction kung sino mga bida nung si libro. On top of that, may spirit of prophecy. Kaya, just to remind everybody, na kahit may certification tayo ng ganito, babalik tayo sa main course para ma-realize natin yung certification ito is very important. Bakit si Sir Nilo? Bakit ako? Bakit si Sir Acer? Bakit lahat kayo? Bakit si Mameli? Nagsiserve pa rin hanggang ngayon. Because there is an inspiration that suffer the little children to come unto me. Dadali natin sila. Sa progressive classes nila, merong spiritual discoveries. And even in friendship development, ang chapter, ang counselor, idadalin sila sa sample ng Panginoon. Kaya pag naging youth na sila, yung go, yung AY2Y, o yung emphasis on evangelism or voice of youth, chicken yan sa kanila. Magaan na magaan kasi nasanay na po silang mag-digest ng ano, mag-digest ng spiritual content na ino-offer natin. So, in closing, I want you to please be familiarized with our system. Hindi ibig sabihin mas ragada, you can go anywhere. Meron tayong system. Meron, ang bahay, di ba, may pintuan, may bintana. Hindi pwede pumasok ka lang kahit saan dyan kapag ikaw. Pwede bang pumasok ka sa bintana, visitor ka, o sa back door? No. Meron tamang pamamaraan para pumasok sa isang church, sa isang conference, sa isang club, sa kailang dunayin. Especially sa mga bata. So, CMT program ay pinopromote po number one. Pinopromote po ang Pathfinder Administrative Manual. Of course, lahat yun may Bible, may Spirit of Prophecies. So, hopefully, by next time na makita nyo yung buong narrative na pag nakita nyo yung uh, club, ministries, training, back up po kayo ng 
experience. Okay? Pag sinabing experience ay experience with the Lord. Uh, experience with your care group. Pag sinabi care group, ang tawag dito sa presentation na bago ay support group. The chaplain, the pastor, the whole church is supporting your club spiritually while they are playing, while they are swimming, while they are making fun or jokes. Yun po ang essence po ng, uh, kung babasahin nyo po, there are 237 pages na pwede nating present and on top of that, may mga side comments. Okay? To sum up, CMT, Club Ministry Training, is related to a club who cater the most important subject to a bo to the most important group and that that is the Pathfinder Ministry. Kung kayo po ay nagkakaroon ng AY2Y o evangelism or gusto nyo maging mayor o maging governor, presidente ng Pilipinas, it's your call. Pero ang Pathfinder Ministry ho, merong sistema, merong target ng sistema, merong pong instructional materials like Bible, administrative, at meron pong support group. Ang support bo ay comrades. Master Guide is not an organization. They are comrades. They are workers for our system and they are good. And you are all good in supporting the ministry of the kids. So when they become 16, sa category nating youth, sasabihin lang, oh, thank you, ma'am, sir. Uh, inorient nyo kami. So, let me go confidently. Let me go comfortably. Let me go without a doubt because I'm with. Pare-pareho kami. Sama-sama together. Uh, same feather flock together in the church. 90% sa statistic na kapag ikaw good pathfinder, hindi ka hiwalay sa church. That's the study. Why we survived for 71 years. The youth is a go signal and they will focus on nurturers, fellowship, and mission and on top of that is their mission, and that's to preach the gospel. May the Lord bless you, and if you have questions on Pathfinder Ministry, Pathfinder Administrative Manual, Basic Staff Training Course Manual, and other programs of the church, feel free to call the union uh, the union or your pastor, or you can have questions right now if I, you still have time. Okay, okay, thank you very much, Sir Abjel, for the very uh, timely lecture, and also reminding us what is our task and the mission of us as a master guide and also uh, doing our part as a club director, treasurer. Nak uh, nakita natin kanina, no, Presidente Pastor Ron, at saka ngayon emphasize ni, ni master guide Abjel. Before we read the question, ay uh, lalo tayong ini-enhance yung ating mga responsibility. Ini-equip tayo lalo. Uh, specifically, di ba Pastor Ron, na yung meron specific na training sa club directors, bagamat yan ay sa master guide, pero ngayon ay talagang uh, maganda at ngayon ay yung limang, uh, limang responsibility na una nating tinututukan sa CMT. Ano? At ang isa dyan na aking nahagip sa CMT, you need to work in one club before you undergo the training. Diba? Tama ba yun, Pastor Ron? dapat talaga nagwo-work ka na sa club ano hindi kailangan solo ka lang na ano hindi uh, hindi pwede yung one man team ka talagang member ka na kasi you will work as a team ano yun ang nakita ko kaya club ministry training and you have a specific responsibility din pa i-train okay mayroong question dito uh, for uh, our time is 8:34 in church-based pathfindering, how can they elect a pathfinder director if no one undergo training in directorship program of their invested master guide who will qualify for the position? Okay, uh, sige. Uh, Sir Abjel? This is not CMT. Let's go back. Uh, most of your master guides, please uh, please check the church manual, pathfinder administrative manual uh, about, uh, about election of the officers. Requirement number one still is master guide. Ngayon na dagdagan, kapag maging director ka, uh, you need to be, besides the approval, you need to be certified. As soon as possible. Okay, okay thank you very much. Pastor Ron? Yeah, uh, as of now, yan na, uh, hindi pa naman, no one is 
has been certified yet, so we can elect master guide, uh, uh, invested master guide to be the director. Um, I cannot, yeah. Okay. Yeah, lang, Pastor Dave, meron lang akong gustong iyan dito, i-address na question. Uh, uh, yeah, like yung question ni Molo, uh, Master Guide Molo, um, if there is a district that plans to start a Pathfinder Club, but for the meantime, uh, it has one Master Guide only. So that's the reason why uh, they have not uh, put a uh, prerequisite yung, ano, yung invested Master Guide because in other places, they don't have Master Guide. So they have to train all this CMT, you know, this, this CMT, uh, so they can have a staff, a, a, club, a, a club staff, uh, well-trained to start the Pathfinder ministry in their local church. Now that's, that's the reason why. So, but if you can tap uh, another Master Guide in, uh, in your place, uh, it's better to have Master Guide uh, who is trained already. But I, like, for example, in the training of Pathfinder uh, instructor and also Pathfinder treasurer and secretary, uh, there are probably, we can be strict in Master Guide uh, club director to be invested master guide but uh, to other training i think uh, uh, we can uh, be uh, you know we can find you know or we can accommodate others if they don't have really master guide as in the case of this one in the mpa okay sir again kaya kaya nga po yeah, kapag, yeah that's the reason why when we train master guides it's the the conference is in charge of training, certifying, and investing. Did you know yes. that? Because there are areas they don't have a strong support system like a master guide or training something. Kaya it's not a responsibility of a district pastor. It's a responsibility mm -hmm. of a collect, collective effort. Kung meron kayong area coordinator sa area yan, kahit meron pang merong isang but find isang club na kailangan magsusum mag uh, mago organize. Yung kat kapit bahay, kasi area coordinators coordinator assigned sa malapit dyan sang area is in charge, one of the requirements one one of the responsibilities to promote so i-adapt muna nila and then to expand and to maintain so master guides, kaya nga sa conference tayo kasi workforce tayo ng conference or workforce all over the world ako nasa US, ginagamit ako sa Japan, nag-lecture pa ako sa Japan sa China, sa Korea, uh, hindi lang sa North Korea we are workforce basta mag -nak tayo Kung sinong nandun. Conference. Okay. Uh, thank you much. Okay. There is another question. An AY leader should be a part for the Pathfinder program. They will attend or undergo the training, sir? Uh, yung yeah. AY um, leaders natin. We, we encourage. Part? Yeah. We encourage Are AY leaders. Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. We encourage. Uh, uh, we have already voted. Uh, we had. Uh, we have already a voted action on. Uh encouraging our ay leaders to uh, to go through syl and also syl or master guide program because it's the, the, these are the two legs in the youth ministries you know uh, the syl in charge for ambassadors and also uh, um, you know adult young adult and then master guide in charge for uh, adventure and also uh, adventure and master uh, uh, finders so that's you know two legs that in some ministry so we need we need to uh, encourage them to uh, be part of this training and nakita ko ang ganda nito kasi if you have a church or a district okay uh, let's go and let's attend the certification uh, 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 the cmt training of uh, of npuc or of clc or, or of mission uh, let's and require them to 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 uh, come uh, as a club you know probably you, you instructor treasurer, secretary, club director, and also instructor. So if you have that team, okay, yeah, kanya kanyang enroll yan. So this year, 2022, you'll be able to train a team, not a one tama sa Pastor Dave, not a one man rule, but you have a team. And uh, that's the beauty, you know, we have Trinity uh, the most, uh, but if you can have five uh, entering, you know, like for example, PIC, okay, uh, for the CMT, kailangan lima lima tayo o kung mas marami naman kayo you can even multi tig uh, dalawa or or more uh, depending on your need in a certain uh, club that you have 
Okay, thank you very much, Pastor Ron and Pastor Abjel. Uh, dito po in emphasize na you will work and you will train as a club, not as an individual. Ano? Kaya talagang dapat tayo, babalik tayo doon sa club, member tayo ng isang club, doon tayo nagtitrain at doon tayo nagsiserve. Yung tanong ni Ma'am Emeline Pacardo, nasagot na to kanina, na if we follow the new curriculum, you need to take it again to be certified first before you can function. Nasagot na po yan kanina. You can continue to function while you are undergo that new curriculum training. Di ba, Pastor Ron? Nasagot na natin yan. Si Kuya Bik, ang sabi ni Sir Bik, ano ba ang difference ng CMT sa Old Pathfinder Stop Manual? Is the CMT from GC or not? Okay. Direct okay. answer. Okay, Sir, Sir Bik. Do you want to say? Okay, uh, uh, let me answer first. Uh, CMT, it is directly from, not, it's not from NAD, uh, meaning it's from GC. So we have AYMT, but uh, it, uh, it, the name is changed to CMT. So it, it, it comes from the general conference. Okay. Yeah. So uh, it, it does not, uh, you know, um, replace the Pathfinder Administrative Manual. No, uh, it is all. It is a training. Yeah, we usually have like the APLA and PLA, na training for master guides. Pero inalis na yan eh, inalis na yan. So itong CMT ngayon yung makalit. Okay, thank you very much. Ah, the question of Sir Nimrod: How can we assure the good results in our implementation of our program, specifically the CMT? How can we be assured of good results? Yeah, Sir Abjel. Um. Kung ako ay, ako teacher ng Sabbath school o kasi sa mga bata na lang sa pathfinder rin, I never stop evaluating based sa standard na ino-offer. And it's a collective consciousness ng pathfinder staff. We call them support team. So, at the middle, may training kayo. At at the middle, may training kayo. Pag nag-camping kayo, nagtatanungan kayo mga staff. At the same time, tinatanong kayo ng camp ini-inspect kayo ng area coordinator. Ini-inspect ang area coordinator o ng deputy director. Meron laging tinatawag na check and balance kung kayo efficient or effective in implementing lahat ng details na yan. So, Sir Nemrod, I think implement kayo ng implement yan at hindi nyo ini-evaluate uh, every aspect of that from time to time. Uh, wala kayo pupuntahan na malayo. You Hello, sir. Check. Yeah. Follow up lang, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Pastor Ron okay, is, uh, ay, sorry, follow up ko lang sa uh, ano okay, ni... Okay, sir, sir, ni Maragi. Go on, sir. Uh, Pastor Ron and uh, the rest of us, uh, oriented naman tayo sa academic community, no? Yes. Yeah. Sa, sa academic kasi, mayroon tayong mga tangible indicators na pag natatamaan yan, yan ay sasabihin natin na accomplished accomplished ang ating objectives. Yes. Sa ating presentation sa mga ating uh, programa, wala tayong unified na indicators ng ating evaluation. We don't have even uh, uh, a scheme. Kasi ang sabi ni uh, Master Guide uh, uh, Sumoso, na doon na lang sa club, ang ibig sabihin may kanya-kanyang stilo ng pag evaluate ang mga clubs. Ang ibig kong sabihin, all of us, particularly si Pastor Ron, is acquainted with accreditation. Ang accreditation kasi, mayroon silang mga indicators na tinitingnan na ito, itong club nito ay naka-accomplish naka sila ng ano nila kasi sa indicators na nakuha nila. And magigage natin kung hanggang saan tayo nagkukulang. Yes. So, yun siguro titingnan natin sa ating uh, bagong kurikulum, baka mayroon tayong system na pwede nating i-evaluate, i-assess kasi pwede nating pasukan ito ng research eh. Mm -hmm. ba? Diba? Sa research kasi doon mo makikita ang deniable ang mga uh, pronouncement ng mga recommendations based from the facts na magagagad natin. At ang ating facts Nandoon yan na derive sa mga indicators na pinapalatag natin. It could be quantitative or qualitative uh, way of uh, evaluating. Mm -hmm. So, yun, yun ang concern ko kasi we are entering towards another curriculum na mas maganda mayroon tayong way of evaluating 
our implementations. Okay, can I respond? Okay, thank you, sir. Oh, sige, Pastor Ron. Can I, yeah, respond to that. Okay, uh, um, first, let me just pro project this one. Okay, so, uh, let me just... Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I know the point of uh, Master Guide um, Nimrod. Yeah, we need to have that one. Uh, merong initial ang ano natin, may initial ang document. For example, let's try to see the Pathfinder Club instructor. So you have the uh, the um, uh, okay. We have the description here of you know uh, teach, uh, teaching Christian values and teaching in uh, investiture achievement, and then later on you have the, here the required field work. So uh, you have the required field work and identified, sir. Yan and anjan ano yung kailangan natin field work. Ano yung portfolio na kailangan natin. So may portfolio review. Uh, but you're right, uh, Master Guide uh, Nimrod, that the orientation sa amin, this is only a starting point. Like, for example, you have here the Pathfinder, uh, Pathfinder Club instruction, instructor training. You can go beyond. This is a starting material that you can at least uh, our instructor can use, but you can go beyond, meaning uh, you can go beyond if you want to improve uh, uh, on this material. You can. Uh, do so as long as you you work within within uh, what is uh find uh, club instructor say. so yeah you're right we need to have evaluation on this matter but i think uh this was uh this this has been uh prepared uh, carefully to have not only a, a intellectual intellectual uh, knowledge or you know yun lang po mental meron siyang ano practical and meron ding uh, evidence na kailangan na uh, maipakita before you are really uh, before you can be certified. So there must be an evaluation, right? You are, there, should, there should be an evaluation before someone can be certified. Pastor Ron? Yeah. Uh, sir. Okay, one minute. Uh, sir Chip, kasi ang ating time ay 8.47. We will have, we will have two questions to answer. Yeah, I there, there's 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 a lot of questions dito. Pero it is it's it's again it's a continuation of our ministry for Patrick. This is not super new. Um tulad ng instructor uh, Sir Ron, may dalawang klase tayong instructor na pwedeng nating in-house instructor na kasama sa executive staff or as defined as kasama minsan kasi itong instructor na to become a chaplain or he a director can be an instructor. Pero meron tayong Pathfinder staff na minsan kahit hindi Adventist siya tulad ng Red Cross, uh, military or, or nature or uh, farmer, magtuturo ng certain oro, they consider as instructor. So I think uh, may prerequisite dito. Uh, I-define ho natin from administrative uh, staff kung anong klaseng instructor siya. Uh, kung siya ay regular or as defined by administrative manual. Pero maganda po yung sinabi ni Sir Nemrod na mayroong measurable indicator ang tawag po doon it could be a subjective uh, evaluation or or objective uh, evaluation kaya nga mayroon tayong checklist sa progressive kasi that's part of the evaluation don't run a club without paperwork kung ikaw ay tech sabi don't run a club a club without a detailed representation ng kanilang accomplishment kasi ito po ay progressive class and mayroon po silang graduation or investiture CMT is just making making you more efficient in dealing with the administration inside the local club. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, there are two last questions. Before we are using Pathfinders as junior counselor, could we still apply it today since we are now having club ministries training? Okay. What's the question? Before we are using Pathfinders as junior counselor, could we still apply it today since we are now having club ministry yeah. training? I think I think that would be uh, like we emphasized about the mentoring process a while ago. The mentoring. Uh, we need to mentor. Like if you are training, uh, being trained as Pathfinder counselor, you can also have uh, you know someone you can men mentor. Uh, mas maganda yon ano towards later on he can uh, he can he or she can be certified as well yeah uh, so ito lang enhancements uh, okay at least we know that 
our counselor, hindi lang basta counselor na sinabi natin, okay, counselor ka. Na alam natin, minsan na-assign lang natin without proper training. Yeah, kaya nga, diniscuss sa amin yung ano, yes. tawagin ba natin chaplain yung isa or counselor na hindi naman talaga nag-proper training. So, yeah, ito yung ano natin. Hindi siya sir pa. Pwede pa rin siya ng, uh, mag-ano tayo ng junior counselor kasi tinitrain natin. Kasi samahan mo ko dito. So, mentor uh, and mentee relationship. Kuya Danya, tamay question. Okay, thank you. Provide the trainings and certify us because none of us here are certified as of the moment. Sir okay. Dan Alpanosa's question. <laughs> yeah, that was the question. Oh, you know? challenge uh, natin. Yeah, that was the question uh, here in SSD. Uh, uh, dapat maganda ang SSD ng training ng, uh, para i-certify. But here, uh, the, the, my, 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 uh, we can do that. But it will take us a year before we can, we can go through this one. Uh, however, I think, like for example, Pathfinder Counselor, we can tap uh, someone who is an expert on that, like for example, uh, uh, a counselor from, uh, from, from AUP. Uh, but we will give the Matias of CMT. Ito yung Matias na gagamitin natin for, 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 her, her, uh, for that person to be guided. So uh, it should be, at least in NPUC, you should uh, uh, like uh, have a approved those who will be top as, uh, as lecturers. Okay, so so we can attend. Even myself, I will attend. You know, I will attend and the, uh, the 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 certification because we need to. Uh, it is not awarded, but it should be uh, something that we need to accomplish uh, in this process. So uh, and also in like uh, sino yung sa club director. So I know uh, we have in 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 NPUC. I know we have uh, we have so many um, you know supply of lecturers on this matter. So we just need to tap them and approve this one. Uh, those who will be uh, top as lecturers to certify us. And then, of course, we need to go. Yeah, it's a good uh, question. By uh, Then uh, once the, the, the union has already uh, uh, a plan for this training, yeah, we will enroll and all will be certified through, the, through that uh, process. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. okay, Pastor Ron, thank you very much. And Sir Abgel, uh, it's almost 8.53, last seven minutes. Thank you, Sir Dan, for the question. Now we will proceed to the giving of certificate to our two lecturers. Yes. And then but we will sir, have a presentation. And, thank you. Pastor Ron, um, yes? Very quick. Very quick. Uh, meron kasing tanong dun sa sad free. Do we need a certificate yeah. for us to be considered a sad free advocate? Yeah, uh, yeah you need... Uh, yeah, we need to have, uh, we will be having SAD free uh, uh, certification and it will really have, it will be after we certify you, we will be working with uh, Dr. Lalane Alpanoso uh, regarding this one and we are done. And uh, you have to have like one for the church, you need to have lecture in the church, uh, SAD free, and then in the community. So through this, you know, I'm happy that uh, in Indonesia, we will be launching the SAD free movement in Indonesia. Okay, we had we have already in Thailand, and I know uh, this will be in all over SSD. So uh, I hope uh, we will continue to support this. Okay, thank you very much, Pastor Ron, for that answer. So the question is, Sir Hugo. Okay, uh, remember this is the first, and the second is on the second quarter, May, and the third is the start of the training, Pastor Ron, July. Kaya yun ang ating okay. target. Uh, all of us. Even the directors yeah. are, will undergo the training. Okay, yes. kaya we yes. pre be prepared, mga kapatid. Tayo ay 115 ngayon. Yes. Okay. So, uh, yung pahabul, pahabul na question ni ni sino to? Ni Richard. Uh, so, how to be certified as sad free advocate? Okay, you yeah, talk we will, to Pastor Ron. Yeah, we will coordinate with Pastor <laughs> oh, Dave regarding Pastor the training. Yeah. So. Uh, mga kapatid, maraming salamat. Before we end, we will give the certificate, uh, Ma'am Repel, to our two speakers. Gusto natin maging on time tayo. It's already 8.55. Can you share the certificate? Okay, certificate of appreciation given to Master Guide Petronio Elibago 
for his dedicated service as one of the resource speakers during the first NPUC wide club ministry training orientation given this 20 day of February. Signed by our three administrators and yours truly. Thank you very much, Pastor Ron. Can we take a picture? Uh, ipin natin si Pastor Ron. Okay, thank you. And the next one is to Master Guide Abjel Sumoso. Sir Abjel, oh, thank, thank you, you very much for your support to the union. Uh, first, at uh, CMT training, ano? orientation training. Nasa na, okay, wait natin. Okay, Sir Abjel Sumoso, siya po ay nakabase sa US, pero yan po ay matagal nating nakasama dito sa NPUC territory, even in college days. Ano? Maraming salamat, Sir Abjel, sa iyong presence at sa atin. Ang lahat po na nag-register at tumaten, para po mapatunayan kayo naka-attend, tayo po ay mag-picture taking and then we will release the first certificate the mga umaten po kaya can you open your video for picture taking before we have the closing song and closing prayer picture taking okay open your cam mga kapatid okay everybody please turn on your camera ready everyone turn on your cam yung detective natin sorry 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 ready one two three smile second page po tayo Show your faces. Please include yourself for our attendance. One, two, three, smile. Continue smiling po. We don't know kung nasaan tayong page. One, two, three, smile. Third page. Sunod po. Marami pa rito sa bandang huli. Sayang po. Pakibukas po ang ating mga camera. One, two, three, smile again. Last. One, two, three, smile. Okay na po, Pastor. Okay, thank you very much. Thank Pastor you, everyone. Mark. Thank you. Do we have closing song? And then, Pastor Ron, we will ask Pastor Ron to pray. Okay, before we pray, um, yeah, we would like to pray, we'll include in our prayers uh, our young people in Russia and also in Ukraine. Um, yeah, because of the situation that they are now in, uh, yeah, because of the uh, looming war in that place. So we'll pray for, for them. And also for the family of uh, Dr. Siron. Uh, Dr. Siron is also a master guide. Yeah, it, those who are close to uh, Sila, um, tomorrow will be the internment. Uh, if you can come, you can come with your uniform, uh, and then uh, yeah, that's that's uh, show our uh, support to the family. Alpanos of family, we all, uh, extend our condolences to uh, Alpanos of family and also the Siron family. So let's pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, this evening, O oh Lord, we thank you for you constantly uh, bless us with uh, curriculum, with uh, knowledge that uh, 
uh, we need um, to uh, have and also Lord to for the training that we need to have so we can serve uh, the young people we can disciple them better okay. our dear heavenly father tonight we would like to thank you for the leadership of pastor dave uh, and the rest of this team in npuc oh lord indeed uh, um, you are using them mightily in your work may you bless them and bless uh, them so that, that they can lead uh, like jesus christ and also we'd like to pray uh, for all the youth directors and all the master guides who are here um, may your blessing be upon them so we can work together, we can learn together, uh, and we can uh, disciple the young people together. Oh Lord, we'd like, we like also to remember in our prayers our young people and, and those uh, living in Ukraine and also Russia. May your intervention be upon them so uh, you'll be able to save uh, many lives uh, in this uh, situation, oh Lord like to pray especially for the young people we have there they are praying fervently and we would like to pray with them we also would like to pray for the Alfanoso and Siron family may your blessing be upon them um, may you continually comfort them through your holy spirit so they'll be comforted and you know the content and the burdens we have in our hearts the struggles temptations we are facing we also we would like to bring them all before your throne of grace and power because we know you care for us. Thank you and uh, for the blessing we have received. And we would like also to uh, uh, pray for the upcoming uh, 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 orientation we have and launching in SSD uh, this Wednesday. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Pastor Ron, for your you, Ron. Uh, support to our Amen. Maraming salamat we will be attending this coming Wednesday. Okay. Okay. Pastor Guide, please attend. The very important uh, orientation of uh, CMT sponsored by Southern Asia Pacific Division. Suporta natin ang sarili nating atin, mga kapatid. <laughs> Mr. Ron, uh, <laughs> we have 101 support to your program, especially to this one. Okay, thank you very much for those who are here. Uh, we will send your certificate. Huwag po kayo mag-alala. Meron pa po itong second uh, batch ng ating <laughs> Kung may second session. May, 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 may. And then we will start the training on July. Pastor so Ron, ang target namin ay start tayo lahat ng July sa NPUC. Uh, kaya we are waiting for the trainers. <laughs> oh, yeah, we will work together, Pastor David. Yes, yes, Pastor Ron. Sige. Because we can have it. Uh, all throughout yes. SSD because of language barrier. Yes, that's true, that's true. Dito siguro sa union ay yung mga ano na lang, mga localized na lang tayo, no? Sa NPUC. Kung masimula natin ng, ng July, ano? Thank you very much to everyone, fellow master guides for attending. Don't forget to register. Kung hindi po kayo naka-register sa Google, nakumatin kayo, mag-register po kayo para makuha namin yung exact name ninyo. Para sa ating mga sekretary sa Imaiyans. 